Hey everybody, welcome back to the next in a series of Excel tutorial uh, videos for beginners. Today we're going to discuss the index match, which is our first uh, exposure to a nested formula. And a nested formula is simply a formula that is smashed inside of another formula to increase its power. Um, the match formula in this instance is inside of the index, um, which helps us to uh, uh, have a, a more advanced lookup. Um, a lot of people use it instead of a VLOOKUP because one of the problems with VLOOKUP is that you can only ever go left to right. It's unidirectional, whereas the index match can go either way. You can look up left to right or right to left. It's bidirectional, so it's really cool. So uh, here we have our toy data set that we've been working with. Again, um, we've got columns B, C, and D. B is our, week, our days of the week. C is uh, the dinners that we're gonna have, be having on what night, and then D is the cost associated with those dinners. So to begin, we're going to initialize our index, and then the first argument here is our array, and in this case, our array is gonna be columns B through D, and then uh, the second argument that we'll need to put in is Ronum, and for row num, here's where we initialize our match formula. And then the first argument inside of the match function is our lookup value. So I'm gonna use uh, cell F4, which is obviously empty at this moment. We'll put something in there in just a minute. The second argument inside of our uh, match function is the lookup array, and so this is what uh, this is where we want to look for our lookup value. And then I'm going to use zero. I always use zero. Zero is an exact match. Um, if you watch any of my videos, you'll know that I always use an exact match. After you know almost 20 years in finance, I've never in my life seen anyone use anything other than exact match. Um, I'm sure there's reasons for it. I'm sure there's use cases for it. If you do use it, Anything other than exact match, I'd love to hear your use case for it. So drop that in the comment below. I'd love to see what you have to say. That is the only three arguments that we need inside of match. So we're going to go ahead and close out match here with this close parentheses. Now we're back out to the index function. And we need one more argument in the index function, and that is the column number. The column number is the uh, column that we want to return within our array. Uh, our array being columns B, C, and D. Um, since we're looking for the cost associated with, uh, with what day of the week, I'm gonna return three. Uh, three being uh, B, C, and D. Close that, and this returns an NA because we haven't given a, any sort of lookup value yet. Uh, if you recall, we put uh, F4 as our lookup value. So in cell F4, I'm gonna go ahead and type a day of the week. I wanna know what uh, the cost will be for dinner on Monday. It's $12.65. If I wanted to know how much dinner will cost on Thursday, change that to Thursday, and it is $11.98. Um, obviously, in the, in the real world, you'd never use an index match on a data set this simple. Um, so you're probably wondering, Ryan, why the heck are you doing an index match here? But this is to give you an idea of how to use it. In the real world, on a, on a real data set, you'd have, uh, you'd have rows that are thousands, you know, hundreds if not thousands of, uh, uh, of rows long. Um, and this could be spread across uh, you know, 20, 30 different columns or even across different spreadsheets which is uh, something that you can do with index match. So just wanted to give you a little bit of flavor of how to use the index match function. I hope that you've learned something with this and let me know uh, if, uh, if you think I missed anything. Let me know in the comments. Uh, and please subscribe, uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, have a great day.